I think I think oh, Amy should do recap because she wasn't here because I think that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> do like I did for my players <laughs> Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was really funny when uh, Frankie, Riley had to Riley, do recap. <laughs> yeah, Riley had to do recap. I did I mean, give I her do... give them inspiration though. <laughs> I can do recap, but I already have inspiration. Mm. Somebody without inspiration then. Uh, uh, let me check my I notes. I did it last week, so it's not me. Oh, I did really shitty notes last session, so... Uh. Let me check to see if uh, I took notes real fast. I don't remember if there was anything before coming into the... No, there wasn't, but we basically spent the entire time in conversation with Marcus before. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We were then... told that um, we were talking to P- uh, Petrison. Um, he wants yeah. us to leave because Abe is attempting something against the uh, Master Waki. Um, and we found out that Avi probably wants Waki's body for his own so he can basically uh, have his body and have the house and everything. He can do some possession crimes, I guess. Yeah. Um, Petrison <laughs> talked about starting a wall. Yeah, um, Petrison talked about how, um, the fire anger thing is hard to control. Um, we heard about the DCO and that they're, uh, they guard the gods' greatest secrets. Um, and- The gods don't want you to know. Yeah, uh, we also found out that Abe usually hangs out in the upper left attic. And that's where my, uh, notes end. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, not in it last time. There was a big in and out where basically Marcus had kicked Astro and Nagi out of the room and the others were basically talking to Marcus and then out the room, talked to Astro and Nagi and then back into the room. And yeah. that literally did take up the vast majority of the session of in, yeah. out, in, out, in, out. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. Petrison oh, did what... not like the uh, DCO peoples. And in, very importantly, Nagi flossed a lot. Um... <laughs> yeah... Julius tried to look like Waki. I remember I have that bit written yeah. down. And was told that he didn't and match. The vibes were wrong. The yeah. vibes and, were then, wrong. and then Ix got volunteered, and I kind of got the impression that the vibes would probably still be wrong. Vibes would still be wrong. We don't vibe as Waki, unfortunately. There are then... reasons. No, that is fine. Um, I figured it was like a family. Not quite. Energy it's... vibe type thing. You'd be more compatible. Ask at some point. Ask Aster at some point. He'll be able to tell you why the vibes were wrong. Oh. I'm making a note. But yeah, that's about as much as I can remember. Um, at this point. and then. <sighs> I can't remember what trigger, but we do end up having the conversation that um, Abe was a separationist, and if he gets control of Waki, that's going to be real bad. And Mm -hmm. Irene went, oh no, as also realized the implications. I don't recall if there was much cross talk after that. Um, We did end up giving Getchson one of the cylinders in exchange for... um, Basically, for Aster to be able to take his holy symbol back and walk over Waki. Um, as, as a show good of good faith. Thing. Yeah. Um, uh, Nagi and Aster went to go check on Waki. Found, ha- found him in his office. Um, because I was not clear about wording. I did not have... Uh, we did not have the ability to be somewhat sneaky about it. Found him possessed, and session ended with Asta saying, well, Abe Kinjiro, the shepherd's been waiting for you, and attempting to turn on dead. Mm-hmm. And that's what you missed on Glee. God. <laughs> what is the save that Abe has to roll again? It is... Wait, my PHP's right there. Give me a sec. I believe it's a wisdom save. Give me a second. Oh, divinity. Wisdom safe. Might be on luck. 15. Mm-hmm. 
Joe. Joe. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, Grumpy. Because unfortunately, he makes it. <laughs> one. Yeah. Um. Mm. That's a really good roll. So you say this, and there is that moment as you sort of reach for that holy symbol and bring it up, and a, the wave of sort of dark, pulsing energy that goes out towards you. And Abe in Waki's body looks up. Did we just and there's someone? kind of... Yeah. You guys gotta step out for a second. Uh -huh. um, and his head kind of tilts for a second. And then you just... Guards! Guards are being attacked! Hold on. I'm curious. I'm curious about one thing. Why didn't you guys Togo in the first place? Uh, it would have done real good for your whole plan for this outsider from the other to be seen attacking the Lord. Uh, so why not just go for Toko and have and scapegoat him like you just get me? What the hell are you talking about? And I beg uh, your arm. There are Daniel. Daniel son. There are apologize for my rudeness. There are two guards storming into the room right now. <sighs> we have no idea this is going on either, do we? Nope. <laughs> God. I'm going to pull everyone over here so you can see. <laughs> Session <laughs> game title. Aster gets arrested again. <laughs> Okay, Nagi will <clears throat> Nagi will say that's not Lord Waki. Go get Toko. Roll the persuasion check at disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where is my sheet? I don't see much here. Just a bunch of weird grayed out everything. Uh, fuck me, right? I'm just gonna. Oh shit. Oh. oh man! No! Yeah, that was until twenty, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh my god! That's so horrible. Uh, oh, Nagi. <laughs> you might need to refresh the page. No, it's uh, good. I see it now. Uh, okay. Um. Gods. Yeah. Um. <laughs> The the one that's sort of still up in your face, Nagi goes, right. <laughs> um, and I need the two of you to make me uh, either acrobatics or athletics checks to detest a grapple. Yeah, I'm going to definitely do acrobatics. Oh, god damn it. Oh, no. It's with Nagi and Sevens today. Oh, come on. Okay. <sighs> Uh, okay, which so I think is... means Asta just kind of... The first one is going to be against Nagi, the first one, the second one is going to be against Aster. Let me finish, let me resolve this before you do what you're going to do, Joe. Yep. <laughs> oh my god! It, it goes to the rep. it goes to the runner, so, uh, Nagi, you jump out of the way. Okay. Uh, yeah. Aster, you are being grabbed. Yep. He just so. tilts his head towards the god, and... This is not casting a spell. However, I am gonna need a wisdom save from the god. Okay. As Aster's skin goes cold and his eyes darken. Oh, buddy. 19. <laughs> that, that, I actually <laughs> need it from the other one as well. Because he's... Okay. Um... Three. <laughs> Do I have the text for that written down? Oh, it's a charisma save. My apologies. Uh, I think their, their stat is worth... The stat's the same. <laughs> okay. Um, I also unfortunately do need one for Nagi. Oh, for what? What did you say? Charisma. 
Oh, yeah. Charisma. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, I'm not within 10 feet of Waki, right? Well, nope. Waki? Nope. Oh, Nagi. Oh, no. For the record. For the record? I just sent what I did. Necrotic ah. Shroud. Mm -hmm. Um, as Asta sort of settles in the grip, and then his skin goes very cold, and there is for a moment almost a sort of mist that seems to and then there's a shift first of all he gains about six inches his chain mail shifts and ripples becoming this darkened metal with this pattern of lotuses and bats from his back, there are two skeletal wings covered in what seems to be this dusty purple cloth. He is looking, he, he's not looking at God now, he's looking at Uwaki. Mm -hmm. Abe. You can't take the past back. The future is here whether we like it or not. What the hell are you talking about? You've gone- He's gone insane. And he's not even addressing you anymore. Yeah. Um, can I try something? Yes, you may try something. Uh, step of the wind to bonus action disengage. Okay. And then she is going to run up here and throw her flask of holy water on- on Abe. Okay, roll an attack. Uh, and that's an improvised weapon attack, right? How does, uh... Um, make a ranged I... attack uh, uh, with an improvised weapon. So, 1d20 an... plus your dex. Okay, so 1d20. So just roll a dex check then, right? Yes. Okay. Now, is there any chance this is audible to... Uh, if everyone upstairs can make me a perception check. <laughs> oh, us? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, perception. I'm also rolling one for Marcus in a second. Uh, yeah, that one was nope. certainly- Oh, shit. Uh, our uh, perception is higher than our rolled perception, yeah. would we hear it that way? Uh, no, I already asked for the roll. Okay. Yeah, Julius uh, is not the best of perception. Where Apparently is... Nin, though, has her fucking shit together. Nin is just good at everything. <laughs> also, one for a granny, too, maybe? Yep, I'm getting that in a second. Hmm. Also, Asta does look um, significantly older. Yeah, she'll process like that later. Around about 30. Nagi thinks, oh, Julius is going to think that's hot, and then goes to throw the... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's a six. That shouldn't have been an advantage. Um, okay. Uh, Nin and Exalia, your ears catch something that sounds vaguely like a sudden commotion, someone shouting for uh, backup guards, and Marcus... His head snaps over to the side. He's like, oh, fuck! <laughs> What's going on? I'd say nothing good by the reaction. Uh, should we go? Yeah, he... let's go. Yeah, he looks at you. I can, he looks I can at all take of you. one person immediately. Uh, he does look at all of you and go, all right, time to put your fucking money where your mouth is. <laughs> well, take me now. I might be able to get him out. He'll hold out his hand. <laughs> oh, go, 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 go. I can at least stop him for a second. Julius, so Julius wants to go? Yeah. 
Okay, then I will step away, bringing Julius with me. So I'm not within 10 feet of anyone. Then I'll cast Thunderstep into... Oh. Um, <laughs> I think... Do you have to see it? Or? Yeah, the space you left, you must be within... Um, oh, do you have to see the point within range? Uh, and that's what I'm looking for. Uh, you can teleport yourself to an... Oh, that you can see within range. Yeah, you make a hole in the floor. Okay, <laughs> okay well then that we'll would be funny, just run. but no, then I can't do I mean, that. Yeah, you yeah, could let's just run. Yeah, just fucking start running. Well, that was the place yeah. you'd been before. Uh, Nagi, please roll me um uh, 2d6 for the holy water. Yeah. Essential as when the holy water uh does it do anything visible to him or so it splashes and there's kind of a sound but he kind of yanks his hand back where you've managed to splash him. And he's like and he just what the hell are you do yeah, at, at the guard? He'll just grin and say, "That was holy water, bitch." Has no one insight checked what like anything he said yet? No. Um. He just because uh, they're they're guards on the in the employ of a major lord. Mm-hmm. Um, he he goes. He just. Um. His response is basically like, "Okay, and you're half water yourself." What was that? Sorry. Holy water generally doesn't react to um, people. He kind of he not kind even of why when I'm like this it reacts. I don't Please know. Kind of of... Please let me go. She's got, a... She's got weird water magic, and I need I need uh, Aster to make me. Aster or Nagi to make me a charisma persuasion check. Just straight. Okay. Up. Will one of us get advantage because we are both talking about it? Or straight, I'm doing it straight this time because you are like between oh, the, okay, visual, yeah, yeah. the visual evidence and helping each other. However, you are still trying to override that man. At least looks like my employer, and my employer is the most yeah. powerful man in the region. So per, uh, persuasion then, or charisma. Persuasion. Uh, yeah. Do you want to do it, or should I? Uh, I suspect you've got a battle. Okay. 24. <laughs> the guards both seem to hesitate. And they're kind of looking down at you, and they kind of look over back over at Walkie. And, um, Walkie again, he says the are you fucking serious? I am your lord! And the guards are kind of... You think you guys might have a... The guards are kind of hesitating. You think you guys might have a moment. Are we you're... running down as well? Yes, you're, cool. you are running downstairs. You gotta okay. go all the way down. To the uh, I is am Aster... checking... Wait. Is Astra high enough level for, her, for his second uh, channel divinity, or...? I don't believe no. so. We're only level five. Okay, that's. I think it's level six. That's right. Oh fuck. Um, let me see what I can do real fast. Check if my inventory. And we each only had one flask of holy water, correct? Yes. Uh, did that's you right. end up giving the other one to X? At yeah, this point? I gave. I would have given the other one to X. Yeah. Yeah. So X has one. Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, okay. I don't get um, it till next. You still have um, your whole. Uh, yeah, Aster does actually have, um, you could try, uh, offer it to the guard and show them that it's just normal cold water, um, and Nagi will, uh, okay, she'll say, go get Toko, go get someone, just this is this is Abe. This is a spirit. Uh, this is, is not. Oh, sorry. This is not Lord Kinjir. This is not Lord Waki. It's the same thing that happened to me the other day. Same spirit, even. It's taken over the Lord and bears ill intent. 
I think with the moment, that seeing how much the two guards are hesitating, what you hear Walkie just under his breath. Oh, fuck it. And um, he is going to make the first move of, of official combat Ooh. by throwing the desk at you. Do I check or is it a attack roll? Uh, now, has the god loosened his grip enough that I can possibly wiggle out? Uh, in the yes. confusion? Yes, but not yet. Yeah. I need to check the exact. N uh, Nagi, you need to make me a DC 16 dexterity throw. Yeah. Safe. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. Nope. Uh, you are gonna take... Can you put them in the damage. cupboard for me? And there's this almost a sort of otherworldly strength as he grabs onto the edge of the desk and lifts and throws it at you. And uh, you, it topples over and pins you to the floor. Yikes. And that is going to be initiative for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Spicy. Spicy. <laughs> um, I can send the text description of Asus Shroud if y'all would like. Hold on, I need to. Oh, oh Esther! <laughs> God. Oh, is this turn in order? There? Uh, I'm arguing there with a bunch is. of stuff. Okay, there we go. Now I will be right back. I need to pee. Mm -hmm. okay, sorry. It's all good. Where, where are we? Where do the tokens go? Uh, you guys are not yet in this room. <laughs> okay. You oh, guys nice are like. Monkey. You guys are like on the ground floor, so you're Ooh. gonna be here in like two turns. Okay. Okay. Oops. Well, um, we should have went with, I guess. Uh, oh well. And the other guard. At least Nagi's a, 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 with Aster. My goodness. Apparently you have been speak. tossed, unfortunately, and you're a little bit farther back, Nagi, and you are yeah. squish. At least your initiative is high, so you might be able to squirm out of there. I don't need to move the fucking floor when I'm doing that. <laughs> the floor falls just out from under Nagi. <laughs> Nagi just falls. reveal the void underneath. <laughs> I'm just re-rolling that initiative to get myself on the... Mm-hmm. Wow, it just doesn't want you to have anything, does it? Not so even the Walkie gets an initiative, and Abe also gets an initiative. Uh, <laughs> no. It's okay, I'm faster. Abe's a bitch boy. Abe's like a bitch. Ooh. Yeah, I need everyone to roll me an initiative. Everyone who's even running up. Uh, uh -huh. Also, one of the gods is frightened of Astor. Also, there yes. you one sec. Yeah, it I already this. rolled for Julius. I got a 15, mm -hmm. so. All of us get a roll. For the moment, I'm going to use Julius. Uh, no, everyone, if, yeah, everyone roll me initiative, please. Crap, my computer wasn't plugged in. That could have been bad. I'm trying to run this as like coherently as possible. I'm so sorry. It's all good. It's, it's our fault for splitting the party. <laughs> hey, it's just you guys just run off and cast spells. <sighs> Maybe like take two seconds before casting spells. Delay, maybe? <laughs> uh, Never. Okay, do also, we- Also, PK uh, will not be rejoining us for the evening. Gotcha. Okay. I will- I am repairing. Okay. Uh, can I have an initiative roll for Alex, please? 
Yeah, do, should, do I tie it to a token or is it, do I just roll nope, it? No, not yet, not yet. Just roll right now. Right. I'm going to average okay. all of the initiatives together to figure out when y'all are going to show up at the door, and then I will put you all in into the turn order officially. Uh-huh. If that makes any and all sense. Yes, it makes sense. Yeah. None of us rolled very high, unfortunately. Actually, no, that wasn't too bad. Never mind, I lied. Irene was the only one that did really bad. <laughs> I won two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, so you guys are going to be at an order of 13 right now. And so in two turns... So after the guards, basically, we're going to show up. Yes. Yeah. Acid doesn't actually have a one, right? He no, has a one. Does. Oh god, he rolled in that one. Mm-hmm. <sighs> After me. So, and then I am also going. To... Yeah, I- I've been hoping to get off the um, trying to get Abe to brag before. Okay. Instead, he just showed his cards immediately. Because you were getting too far into the guards' head, and he was like, ah, fuck it. (laughs) Fuck it. I'll kill them, too. I'll kill them, too. (laughs) Who cares about these NPCs? Not me. Basically. Okay. Uh, Nagi, you would be up first. Yeah, so... For one of my unarmed strikes, can I, laying on my back, pick the desk off me using the wind stuff? Mm, I would let- so, the way- the way this is rolled, because- so, the the thing is it's holding you down. It's not just, like, the weight of it, there's also almost this supernatural force kind of pressing down on you. Oh, okay. Is there any way I can wiggle out? Yes, you have to make me a strength saving throw. Oof. Oh, I'm actually okay at those. Fuck yeah. Come on, Nagi. God damn no. it. Oh, unfortunately, you fail. Oh, wait, I have. Uh, no, I'm not going to use my inspiration for that. That's stupid. Uh, uh, honestly, that... getting yourself freed up might be a good use of your inspiration. Okay, I'll use my inspiration. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you nice. succeed. So, with you kind of press a little bit and then. It, it sort of presses back down on you, and then you kind of remember something your mom taught you once about how to get out of the situation. Like, if you'd ever been caught in, like, a cave-in or something, and it just gives you the right to put your knee underneath of it and lift it up and off almost with a, with a little fulcrum edge on there. Um, that is your action. You still have your bonus action. Uh, yeah, can I, I'm not able to attack with that, right? Uh, no. Not without okay. making an attack action. Uh, okay, fine. To keep walking from running, then, I'm going to use bonus action, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, what's that thing called again? Step of the wind to move? Mm-hmm. Uh, what's my normal move speed? It is... So, 80 feet. So, I'm going You to did basically... have to get up from front, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, 40 feet, then. So, then, mm-hmm. just... Around, she's gonna just run around Abe, stepping of the wind, and when she does that, um, essentially, whenever she dashes, it creates ice automatically, so she's just gonna create a big pool of ice to keep him from, you know, getting out of there easily. Can you send me the text to that? Yeah, yeah, I'll send you the text. It's called the Snake's Golden Path or whatever. Yeah, I just want to know exactly what the... Okay, I'm. I just say that you're you're able to leave, like, because it's not clear. I would say you can leave like a five foot sort of line behind wherever you're running. Yeah. So I figured it looked like so that way it just like you know slowly just making a spiral around him or something. Okay, so and you can choose where I end up, I guess, two, because I. Well, we'll figure it out. So forty yeah. feet. So one. So twenty-five. But you could probably get like there. Oh no, I have forty feet. 
uh, of movement. Yeah. Placed. Oh, there. yeah. So if you, yes, yeah, so that's twenty feet up there. This is stu stupid big. Maybe for the maybe the opposite the way, so that if he tries <laughs> to go for the door. This yeah. Is stupid big, actually, with this with the with the scale I've set up. Um. Doesn't matter. That's my goof. So you can go. You can go like, you can get to there and do like a little. Delete that. Yeah. Hold on. We'll just end up right here then. Like a little this. It's a line of ice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I also and... need to put Walkie in the order, not actually on a. I mean, that's her turn. Do 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 do. Walkie rolled. No, stop that. Let me. Oh, I should add. Okay. Yeah, so he kind of looks at you uh, as you run up and past him, and I assume you're kind of giving him that, like, I'm gonna come punch you look. Yep, he's grinning like a, like a bastard. <laughs> Ave kind of glances at you and then at, um, I asked her and he goes, Don't know how you caught that so fast. I'm running into a friend of yours. Oh. <laughs> that lion, that thief. Hmm. Well, I'm honored by the attempt, but. I don't think you want to damage my new suit. And he kind of holds his hands out, kind of, like, in that, like, look at me now. <laughs> oh, that's um, just tasteless. First of all, tasteless. Second of all, I'm pretty sure that Waki is still in that, so perhaps hold off on the tackiness. Uh, he is going to, um, and then he doesn't do anything yet. It is, however, his lair action. <laughs> yep. Um, why does that take a minute to cost? Because fuck you is why. Oh, magic circle? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that's one of the things you have to set up, sadly. Yeah, and if I had actually done my wedding right to... Okay, so luckily for you, Aster, um, the guard next to you kind of seems to start forward as if he's being pushed by something, but manages to catch himself before he completely just smashes <laughs> you into the ground. Yeah. Um, that's one turn onto the party's arrival. It is now the Kenjiro guard's turn. <laughs> um, the scared one kind of looks at his buddy and he's like, What the hell do we do, mate? <laughs> and the other one looks at you, Aster. Um, and he goes, If this goes bad, I didn't do this. And he lets go of your arm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you kindly. Um, I, I will also add, I can't get it, but there's a sort of, um, a kind of gravelly quality to Aster's voice now. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say there's like a reverb on it, but there's kind of a, more than you would expect from. And they're both going to kind of step back, because they don't, they're like, this is far above our pay grade or knowledge, and we don't want to fuck shit up. 
And I think that's a fair and valid take. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so while it is Waki's turn, there's almost just Nagi, you can see it kind of spark for a second as if there's something in his eyes that's not Abe. But then it's smothered and pulled back again. And kind of stutter step. He kind of steps back this direction. One, two, and then reaches down and picks up a letter opener that's on the ground. And it's, it's like... Oh, it, the movement is almost as if Abe is still relearning how muscles work as he picks the knife up and he holds it to the side of Waki's neck. Fucking knew it. Asshole. And he's gonna hold his action then after that, I'm guessing, huh? Yep. Uh. Mm-hmm. Waki, no. Aster, your turn. Aster. I know. Asta looks at Abe and looks at Abe holding the letter open at a walkie start. Apologies for this. Hmm. Hmm. Um now Abe himself can't be targeted with No. Okay. You have to target one. Yep, that's fine. Um I will warn you to be careful if you put Waki at over under his HP. I know. He will that's... die. Yeah, I know. Because Waki's just a commoner, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't um, even hunt him, I don't think. Yeah, you'd flick him and he'd die. <laughs> Probably. As he steps forward mildly. Um, and basically, he's going to prepare his bonus action for, if Abe goes through with it, to spare the dying, because I assume 30 feet catches him within this room. No, I would love that, yeah. Yeah, so he can just bonus action, and he's just calmly advancing forward. With that rule, uh, Nagi, I would have let you come up and over here as well with the breath. Okay. Because this room is stupid big. <laughs> uh, um, to be fair, uh, you can specify non-lethal. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. You have that option, Aster does not. Yeah. Not you, it's your turn. Does it look like... Uh, can I insight check to see if, if I step forward, <laughs> if he'll do anything? Or... Roll an insight check. Yeah. Uh... Hmm. I'm gonna roll. You can't read him. Okay. Oof. Um. You rolled a twenty-six. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Gods. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm. And I'm too far to even catch the there. Is Waki facing me or facing Aster or? He's kind of keeping both of you kind of in eye line. Okay. <clears throat> Just. Um... Yeah, Aster currently can't talk unless you say something to him, so. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I guess Nagi is just going to... Say... After going through all this work, I don't... Are you really going to damage the body you went through so much work to... Uh, after going through all this, are you going to really damage the body you went through so much effort to get um, taken control of? Are you willing to risk that? Are you? 
and Nagi is going to just action dodge, I guess, in case something happens. Okay. So, Waki, again, Abe is just going to take one or two more steps back. Knife still held up to the throat. I'm just going to. Now. Are we all going to sit down and negotiate? Or is this going to turn nastier? Looking at the two of you. Yeah. Hmm. The problem with negotiating isn't actually us. Because I'm pretty sure Petrison won't go. Well, he might, yeah, but he'll... But I think he'll be reasonably sure that we can fix it if you don't, if you do. Well, that would be part of negotiations, wouldn't it? I got the sense from near 200 years to get me trapped. You didn't like people like you. That means you've got oh, some no. time. What is it you want? Is it war? I, I want the two of you to put down your weapons and to let me resume what should have been my life in the first place. This isn't your life. This is Waki's life. Mm -hmm. The past is dead. You can't bring it back. The past is dead and so are you. And I think perhaps... It's time to let go. <laughs> That's quitter talk. And seeing as you all are probably not super into, like... No, Asta isn't. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there are some display weapons on the walls here. A couple of old katanas and some daggers. And in this moment, it starts to shake. And then pop off the wall as if pulled by an invisible hand. And one, so one very long sort of rapier-like weapon is going to come swirling over at Nagi. And the Isn't other one... End? Right, and the other one is going to come at Aster. So, one at disadvantage. 11 does not hit, thankfully. And one at Aster. 26 does, but Aster doesn't. Six damage on that. And then he's going to take a couple of more steps. And that's his turn. And then as a lair action, the shaking continues around you and things start to kind of peel off the wall and the books start to come off the bookshelf first falling to the floor and then picked back up and they start to swirl around him in almost this, like this 20 foot radius um so nearly the whole room yes yep everything is now difficult terrain yep okay uh That is his turn. The party shows up. <laughs> <laughs> We're late with Starbucks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> what did I miss? What, yeah. what, what did you I all miss? end up in the doorway. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to put you all on the turn order. Excellent. God, I just love that Alex is icon is just a cow yeah. oh, that's what he that's is so good soft mans <sighs> just, he like... just he makes me want to hug a cow so badly he also got an icon 
Well, there's men right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. I we can I can get you a new one. Um. Okay. What was everybody's role? Uh, scroll back up. Shit, hold on. Um, Julia's got a fifteen. Ix was on a 15 as well. And I think Ix would go before Julius, because I think Ix yeah. has a higher dex. Almost does, yeah. certainly. Yeah. 17 for Nin. Nice. Um, Irene got a 10. Thank you. Uh, Nocturne, not Nocturne, Alex got a 12. Nocturne is now in the game. <laughs> Nocturne yeah, appears. I'm in. I'm Nocturne for is your now in the boys. game and can pull I'll be a bitch. Excellent. He's going ghost. <laughs> Dead now Dead I will possess hey, the body. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, easy. I didn't mean to wake you. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, oh baby. I heard baby cry. Baby is oh. grumpy at me. Nin, you get to Oh, go I get to go. Shit, I don't have anything planned. <laughs> like, at all. I don't know what's going on. You walk into the room, there are books and little objects flying around Waki Kinjiro as he holds a, uh, a, a uh, uh, letter opener to his own throat. <laughs> um... Uh, that's not good, is it? <laughs> no, it is no. spectacularly bad. He would like us to negotiate. I assume, I assume you said that's not good, is it? Out loud? I, are we, do we want to do that? No. My vote is no. Mm-mm. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Julius has a plan, though. Too much risk. I don't think there's much I can do, honestly, that wouldn't kill him outright. Uh, there are two clerics with room fight. It's not ideal, but we can. I'd rather not get to that yeah. point. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I'm... Just... Uh, no, you know what? I'm going to cast... Invisibility on, let's see, I've got it the third level, so I could cast it on two people. Um, I'll cast Invisibility on Ix and uh, who else? Shit. Does anyone else want it? Want what? Invisibility. invisibility. Uh, you wouldn't mind being invisible, but I don't know if you're close enough to her. Uh, I might be a touch thing. Hold on. Yeah, it's, it's hard touch. to tell with the room. Oh, it's touch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it'd have to be. Someone yeah, this one's going to be. This one has distances that are going to be kind of fun and loose and flirty. Um, yeah. <laughs> fun and sexy. Um, if no one else wants it, then Min will cast it on herself. But if anyone, anyone else, speak now or forever hold your peace. The rogue I'm might use it. I, I put it on X already. I'm oh, casting yeah. the third. Yeah, because X has the uh, other vial of holy water. Mm -hmm. I I don't think Julius has a use for it. Yeah. Um, unless it's someone thinks they could could down. grapple and take the knife away, <laughs> then uh, so I have a way to get rid of it. As Hold on, what was we're that? still in turn order. Yeah. But Julius know, no, has an idea. I was asking Parker for sake of it. Um, was since the Aster was advancing forward on his turn, um, towards, would he be getting buffeted by stuff? Yes. Okay. Okay, I mean, if, if no one else wants the Nin will just cast it on herself as well. Yeah. Okay, then that's gonna be my turn. Okay. Give me one second. I gotta write down some HP totals. Oh, gods. Oh, I forgot to add someone fun and cool and flirty to the turn order. Oh, 
no. Yay. Marcus? Oh. Flirty. I also this is gonna to, be... I forgot to fully roll his initiative. Uh-oh. I'm all, I'm no, you walking. rolled it earlier, I think, right? I didn't roll Marcus's. I rolled Waki, I rolled Abe's, and I all rolled the crown scar. Oh no, you rolled his perception. Okay. Yeah, he rolled a fucking two. Yay. Oh. Oh, cool and fun, fun and flirty. <laughs> okay, I have a. Oh, I hope this. I hope this works. Oh my god. I need to check. Well, it's Exalia's turn. I know, I'm just mm -hmm. thinking about something else. It is Exalia's turn. Okay, yeah. the whole room is difficult terrain, isn't it? Yes, the whole room is difficult terrain. Well, that doesn't help. Um, In that case, then, Ix is going to use all her movement, her action, and her bonus action, both to dash and just get as close as they can. 90, then. No, because it's difficult terrain, so it's halved. So, 45... Um, yeah, 45. And, and, yeah, 45. That's, that, this is a small room, so 30 might be able to get you close enough. 30 would, would get you within melee. Okay, I want to be so behind... So you can bonus action dash. I so, want to be behind him. I would let you do that. With your with an, with a bonus action dash. Like, um, and then I want to use my action to um, pour <clears throat> um, the holy water over his head. Okay, you get advantage. Come on, Ix. Uh, improvised. Oh, it's just a dex it's roll. It's just a dex, it? yeah. Yeah, <laughs> dex roll at advantage. Yeah, 14. Uh, because this is Waki and not Abe's uh, AC, it does hit. <laughs> uh, please roll me 2d6. Oh lord. Four. I mean he kind of <laughs> you hear him kind of make this little <laughs> noise as it sizzles on his back and you are no longer invisible. Yeah, no, I know. Does yep. he drop the letter opener? Uh I will have him roll a sleight of hand. But she doesn't have, so oh, he no. keeps a hold of it. Mm. Oh well. Oh, no, it should be on oh, That's it. It's turn it's then. Julius. Yeah, give me one second. Okay. Uh, because I have to do calculations because he gets certain resistances for being in a body, but then he's vulnerable to hold. <laughs> It's all good. I have to do- I have to do brain numbers. Brain numbers! Figure out what cancels out what. Mm -hmm. Uh, Julius, your turn. Um, he's gonna step forward next to Aster. Give him, like, a look and just be like, that's an interesting look on you. Um, and then he is going to reach out his hand to Abe and just say, You really need to not be where you don't belong. And he is going to... Um, I have a question, Parker. Logistics question. Uh -huh. Julius knows that there are two people in this body currently, sort of. If I cast command at second level and targeted both of them, because um, at second level I can target two, uh, two, or an additional creature... Okay. Um, I would like to do a second level command and use the command of drop. So he will okay. drop the letter opener and I'm going to use three sorcery points to make the first one that Abe uh, is doing at disadvantage. So, so, so normally you cannot target a possessing entity. But because this is so fun and fucking clever, I'm gonna let you do it. <laughs> Wisdom save of 16, uh, the yeah. first one is at disadvantage, and the other one is Abe's roll, so... It's Waki's roll. And yes. I feel like Waki's so roll Sorry, failed. yes. Abe is first. Like so hopefully... Yeah, Waki <laughs> is more than willing to 
So yeah, Walkie's hand opens and the letter opener falls to the floor. All right. Is there anything else I could do? Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Um. I guess as. What else can he do? Oh, if you can get the letter opener away, that'd be fantastic. I doubt you can. Um, I could- oh fuck, Mage Hand is an action, so no, I can't. Um... Yeah. You could click and cast Mage Hand. I don't have that, I don't think. Oh, no, okay. I don't, that's not my meta magic. Um, mine are, uh, the heightened and the extended spells, so. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. Um... Fuck, is there anything else I would want to do? Once again, sending <sighs> trying times. Do I want to do... Yeah, that Stormy's little meow. Yeah, that was cute. <laughs> um... The little protesting meow of why are you mm -hmm. bothering me when I'm trying to sleep? Yeah, just... Is there anybody that Maybe. looks hurt, necessarily? <sighs> not who looks hurt, but not hurt enough to go down, oh. like, in the next few rounds. Okay, yeah, no, no. Then he won't... <laughs> Unless she gets another dusk thorn at all. That was only 11 damage. <laughs> I, I can't necessarily do a first level spell with a healing word, could I? No. Oh, no. it could be. Oh, yeah. Command is a level. Yeah, I did a second level command, so technically mm -hmm. I would have to use a bonus action bonus cantrip, action. which literally doesn't exist. There's like one, I think. Yeah, it's, there's a bonus. And that's the only one is. <laughs> oh, no, there's also a ma magic, magic stone. Oh, what did, that's so dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, oh, the most you useless. Just, yeah. you, could, you could bonus action look hot. Yeah, I, I. Oh, you know what I do? My cloak. I'll do the 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 uh, flickery oh, really? thing. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the cloak of billowing. Since that's a bonus action, <laughs> dramatically makes him drop the letter opener oh. and gives him the finger. <laughs> that's what I do. That's my turn. Oh, look at that baby cat. Cat? Uh, he looks so oh, gross. Oh, what a baby. Oh, hi, baby. She, so she sleepy. just wants to go to bed. Look at her. She is scooped. She's scooped. She is whole. She's like a, oh, a little so, possum baby. Oh, the house guard take two looks like look at each other. They're like, we don't want any fucking thing to do with this. So they step out of the room <laughs> to make sure no. No, they, they step out to make sure that no one else comes in. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like, and oh. you can hear shouting. You think you can hear Amaya's voice outside? You think you can hear Toko's voice outside? <laughs> the guards commit treason and let the newcomers just kill their lord. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you will not come to that. I mean, Fair. At this point, they're like, there's some spooky ghost shit going on. And like, <laughs> so our options are help ghost who is committing treason, or possibly commit treason ourselves. Right. <laughs> Both of those are treason. <laughs> so We're never gonna be allowed to come back to this area. Oh no. We're never gonna be allowed to come back to this area. <laughs> We're choosing the option that might be less treason. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, Waki, who has, uh, you know, his actual action for this turn, he's just gonna take that action to kick that letter opener across the room as hard as you fucking can. Fuck yeah, Waki! Fuck <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, I'll let you go, I'll and let you go. Yeah. He looks over at you, Ixalia, and he just, help, please? And then, uh, then you hear, like, <clears throat> <clears throat> and it's Abe looking back at you again. Come on, Alex. Alex! <laughs> you can attempt to turn on dead again. Yeah, does Alex. Does he, does he even really understand what's going on at this point in time? I, it's, it, that's the real question. Does Alex know enough about what's happening to know yes, what he's I, I, Yeah, I would say so. It looks like a scene out of Ghostbusters, yes. <laughs> I had never seen it. We're just missing the slime, honestly. There's like things flying everywhere. There's like 
you know, things are rattling, like, we're one, we're one minute away from calling the fucking, uh, people who, you know, handle Annabelle, like, we're just, <clears throat> like, nice Man, now I'm just imagining if we could somehow manage to, like, trap Abe in a fucking pistol. <laughs> <laughs> just suck him up. I like the person to bear. Uh, it that is... room is smaller than the scale is. It is much smaller than the scale is. It's probably only about, like, 40 by 30. Um, it is also difficult terrain. Should I like to cast Old Person on him? Or turn Old Person might be a very good idea. Or turn yeah, on it. Like, yeah, they're both are very good, honestly, right now. But turn on dead might be a little more helpful if, if it if it works. Yeah. Because turn on dead if it works, we can tell Walkie to fucking run. Mm-hmm. I would At- like to- if he runs away, that makes it him farther from us. Well, he can. Well, he can be run in the room, but still be away from the ghost. Is the thing. I feel like. Um. How about you just do you? Whatever you think is best yeah, right now. Whatever yeah. you yeah. think will work. I mean, whole person does sound like. If it works, it'll at least. Or does he have to have good wisdom at all? Well, the thing is, because you have to, uh, I think, with whole person, you have to contest against two different entities, I think. Uh, theoretically, I think you just have to contest against Walkie. Mm -hmm. Uh, Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fucking go for it. Yeah, hold them down. (laughs) All right. Because then maybe, um, uh, uh, Aster could do something, too. Yeah. Hold the person. Just a regular, just a regular second level. Okay. Against 16. What's the, uh, it's wisdom, right? Wisdom, yeah. yeah. Wisdom from Walkie. Come on, Unless Walkie chooses to fail it. Well, Walkie doesn't know what you're casting. Yeah. Well, is the ghost in him or not? The ghost is in him, yes. Yes, so the ghost is in him. Then hold him. So the, what, does that <laughs> yeah. work on the ghost? Can I hold the ghost? I don't know. I don't tenderly know how hold work. the ghost. Hold your ghost. ghost is a humanoid tenderly tapping. hold the ghost. Aggressively hold the ghost. If the ghost was outside of Waki's body, I would let you attempt it, but he is not. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's our goal so now, the... is get the ghost out of Waki's body. So, so hold the body so we can get the ghost out better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, then yeah, hold person. Waki fails. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Look at him with that natural one. Good job. <laughs> oh man, this man does not deserve this. Waki, <sighs> you see his body kind of lock up, and Ixalia specifically, you can see there's a look of just fucking seriously in the eyes. <laughs> don't don't worry. If you guys hit him too hard, Alex does have spare the dying. So does Asta. <laughs> It is Irene's turn. I think Irene is mostly confused and not sure exactly what she can do to help here. Yeah, wizards can't do much unless she has, like, pr- protection from good and evil or dispel good and evil or whatever. Yeah. And what she low level to spell good and evil, I checked. Um, she has oh, quite yeah, a few, uh... Like, she's gonna spells. cast mage armor on herself. Yeah, we go. that's valid. <laughs> That'll help the granny. Keep her safe. So... That's going to be her action. She's going to cast Mage Armor on herself. Which brings her AC up to a 14. And she's just kind of going to scoot this way a little bit, I think. It's a fun and sexy turn. As you all start to feel kind of a creeping heat, sort of start to emanate into the room. Yeah. And stepping out from the fireplace is the man, the myth, the legend himself. <laughs> Fantastic. Hi, Mercury. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, 
Um, and he spent all of his turn getting <laughs> because dashing. Yeah. And yeah. shit. Now, because Asta had been advancing next to the last turn, would he possibly be able to get up in <laughs> melee range? I uh, he didn't move him last turn. It's yeah, where would I, you I had him? said that he was moving. Yeah, but yeah, uh, where would you have moved him? Is the thing because uh, he would cause... have been advancing towards Abe because where he, where Abe was at the time, which was like right here, so Get like ahead, a couple yeah. steps up that way. I would have put you. I, I'm willing to put you like right there. Yeah. So okay. would I possibly be able to get to Abe with the 15 feet of movement I would naturally have? Mm, yes. Fantastic. Ooh. Um, funky. Which means Asta's gonna get there, smile mildly at, um, and he's gonna do something that is possibly a little bit risky, but also possibly the least worst option. Mm -hmm. He's gonna try and nap tap, walkie. Okay. Specifically oh. non-lethal. I am specifying on the roll and attack at advantage. Uh, I'll roll the attack roll for a weapon, but it's just he's just basically um and mm -hmm. trying to just knock Walkie out. So I'll roll this with a weapon, but it's gonna be um. Yeah, I know what you mean. Let ends. I'm actually also checking if I can choose. Okay, it's you can, not you do. So. Mm. so. Yeah, I'm gonna roll this as a weapon attack just for ease of, but it'll be four points of damage. Mm -hmm. As Asta just bonkleted. Just try and not block him. You do bonk him, but he's standing. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Maybe I should have done that. Commoners usually have like eight points of hit points. Uh, he is a noble who have slightly more. Mm hmm. Is that your bonus? I don't believe I have anything else I can do as a bonus. No, I don't. Okay. Nagi is gonna come up behind Wafi and sing that Aster just smack him. <laughs> Is going he to also try and not tap. Special, yeah, specify just, I know, I know. Shh. I was talking. <laughs> I know, um, she's sorry. going. She's going to um, un lethal, uh, non lethally, basically just bop him on the back of the head with her. Advantage. Uh, ooh, cough and, yeah, advantage. Uh, boo -boo 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 -boo. Where is the button? There's the button. Oh. Mm. Yeah, Naki, 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 you kind of reach out and just one up and underneath um, the lower part of the jaw, and his head sort of snaps back, and Waki hits the ground like a sack of potatoes. Hell yeah. Yeah, Asta's gonna try she'll, and catch him. Yeah, she'll say, Sorry, <laughs> Lord Waki. Asta's gonna try and catch Waki. Um, make a dexterity check. We okay. are just beating up this poor man. <laughs> Does the ghost pop out or? Hold on, let me see. Let me see what this dexterity check is, so I can describe the. Yeah. Mise en scène. Ah, that shouldn't have been an advantage. Yeah, with a nine, you fumble and he hits the ground. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. Asta adds to his uh. mental list of okay, I'm gonna need to put some healing into you as apology. Mm -hmm. But he, it is. Well, he is stable because not lethal. So, mm -hmm. so he's sleepy. Uh, yeah, he does not have a, a cross out mark. He's just sleepy. Um, and sort of, I'm gonna put him over here. And yeah. in his place stands a phantasmal figure of this older sort of gentleman in this dark uh, purple kimono. You can see now as it shifts and moves, there are these little metal chains poking up between it, wrapped, seemingly wrapped around his skin. 
or what, what, what must have once been his skin. And he looks unhappy. <laughs> okay, second attack on the ghost. Mm-hmm. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Uh, advantage flanking, or do we not do that? I forget. Advantage flanking. Okay. For, like, two damage. <laughs> and then, uh, bonus action unarmed strike, or, yeah. <laughs> Yay! Nice! Except as this one comes in, he sort of seems to flicker a little bit out of existence, and it does even less damage than you're expecting. Okay. Um, can I... Am I able to stunning strike a ghost? Can I try that? Mm, you can try. Yeah, can I Technically, get a cost Technically, he of... does have key for you to manipulate, because he is a... Yeah, can I have a DC 15 con save? I'm checking the... <laughs> I mean... Apparently, according to Matt Mercer, you can stun a ghost. Nice. <laughs> Con. Yeah. And then <laughs> uh, she is going to use another key point to... Yeah, she'll go ahead and do it. Uh, use this, um, the last uh, unarmed strike for Flurry of Blows. Okay. And... Oh, damn, that was... Uh, yeah. It's still and hit, that's... Uh... Yeah, uh, that's her turn. You took him down like 10 HP. <laughs> nice! <Yeah. laughs> so this is technically Abe's turn. It's just labeled wrong. <laughs> um, however, he is stunned and doesn't get to do anything. <laughs> he so does have a lair action. Okay. He still does get his lair action because lair action isn't um, tied to whether or not the person running it can move or not. Um, the the sort of the things that are flying around you kind of fade and fall to the floor in one instant and I need I need Excelia to make me a strength saving throw oh that's Aww. uh oh that's not nice hey oh. Master, make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, God. Oh. Nice. He's throwing... Oh, God. No. A mess. You are oh. both going to take 15 points of damage as Excelia is pushed off her feet and is, sends cr is crash sent crashing into Aster, knocking them both down and pinning them both to the floor. It's just rude. <laughs> Sorry. I need to do crowd control somehow. So how far <laughs> back did we get knocked? Uh, about 10 feet this direction. So. Fantastic! Thank you, love! Yeah, you're over there. You've tripped the over a chair. The fact that I am that excited about that is possibly a warning. I'm aware. Nin. <laughs> Sorry, I was muted. I can see Abe's ghost face now. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna Eldritch Blast that bitch. At advantage, he's stunned. Hell Aye. yeah. That'll hit. That'll hit. And you get a second beam now. Oh, right. I should just do advantage. Hold on. Mm -hmm. mm. That will not hit, unfortunately. Okay. Roll your damage. Ooh. Mm. Biggest hit nice. done so far in one hit one. Yeah, it's sort of out and it hits him solidly in the chest and the other one skitters off on the floor. And by the time he had popped out of Waki's body, he wasn't looking particularly great, but now he's looking particularly bad. Excellent. <laughs> his form Good is starting to break. His form is starting to waver at the edges, and it's starting to sort of almost fade in and out. Um, oh, it's only I... your turn. Oh, did you have more? No, I guess I technically pop out of invisibility. Um, yeah, but no, I think that's it. All right, Exalia, your turn. If you want to get up, you need to make me another strength, strength save. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Unfortunately, you are still pinned, and you are pinned down to Aster. 
Well, this sucks. Um, I don't know how much. Um, no, you're you're like pinned, like you're like supernaturally, right? It, it, yes. Here's an, I don't know. That there's a. Whole Do you still have inspiration? Lot. You could try that. I could try use the inspiration, I suppose, for an advantage on mm -hmm. that save. I will I use the inspiration you. and roll I it. I want to check about being prone. Yes. That, yes. That does succeed. You are no longer pinned. You're able to push yourself. Hell like, yeah. Off Thank of you Aster. For... You're, you're now on your back on the floor next to Aster. Thank you for the reminder, because I had forgotten that I had that. Okay. Pushing to her feet. Um, it seems like a really okay. bad idea to run back towards the ghost. Um, shoot the ghost. So she's going to shoot the ghost instead. Except I don't have magical weapons, so it's not going to do as much damage. But Nagi is. But you'll still feet, get. So I do get. Yeah. Sneak mm -hmm. attack, and that will be full damage. So. Not in that button. Yeah. Does that hit? Is that. Uh... Is that an advantage? Because I, I have a. Oh, he's stunned. I have advantage. He's I didn't stunned. realize that. Yeah. Sorry, I was in another car. Oh, hey. yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That'll hit. Roll with us. 11 sneak and 9 piercing. Okay. Um. And then. Yeah, he he's is going to good. half that even further. Ugh. He is. As again, um, he kind of snaps out of like he he loses more incorporeality for a second as the bolt goes through him and launches into the bookshelf uh, book behind him. Okay. Didn't lock um, in the behind him. X is going to use the rest of her movement just to kind of move to one side. Okay. Out the way. Uh, and then. No, that's it. Okay. Julius, I actually clicked past you, but it's your turn. <laughs> it's so good. Um, Julius is going to kind of rush up a little bit. He doesn't necessarily need to, but he's just going to extend it out his hand and just say, You just need to die, you spooky bitch. Um, and he's going to uh, firebolt him so I get advantage okay. to hit, correct? Mm hmm. Yes. Okay, okay. Advantage. Firebolt. 16 to hit? Uh, that hits. 6 fire damage. Okay. And, uh, bonus action. He is going to um, bring his spiritual weapon into play as well. Okay. I'm just going to do... The lowest level I can, which is a second level, so let's grab spiritual weapon token. Oh, that's the wrong one. It should be the other one. Is it um, what? Did I fuck that up? Yeah, it's showing the glaive still. Uh no. Uh, oh. Yeah. It's showing uh, the normal one on there. It's fine. We can deal with that later. <laughs> Y'all can fuck with it later. I completely forgot to do that. I think. No, that's all good. I had changed it before, but I guess it's just not showing the correct one for some reason. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do a spiritual weapon. So, does that also get advantage? Yes, he is done. Cool. Uh, Twenty-three to hit. I nice. assume hits. Yes. 13 force damage. Nice. I rolled max damage. That's cool. Oh, here's the, the actual token. Never mind. Good. Yeah, I fixed it. I fixed it off to the corner. Thanks. Just real quick. Okay, yeah, that hits and that does a full 13. He's looking real bad, y'all. Excellent. Uh... The guards that, are out of the room. That is all I can do, so. Waki is unconscious and going to make a death saving throw. He is stable! Right, he is stable. He's just unconscious, right? Yeah, he's he's done. 
<laughs> Come on, Alex, finish him off. I can hit the ghost. I'm so yeah. far. I'm all the way across the room. Hit it's, with you, you can hit him. Range is fuck range right now. You can hit him. Is he almost? Is he almost done? He's he looks pretty, pretty bad. Off. Sacred flame. Dexterity saving throw. He that he automatically fails. fails. That yeah, huh? he fails. He's, he's stunned. He automatically fails. Fails roll damage. Hell okay, yeah. hold on. Let me make sure my damage is right in here. Okay, I think I think that works. Ten. Nice. Unfortunately, he looks like he's holding on to being corporeal by like the. Oh, the you end. motherfucker! Magic Fingers. missile time. <laughs> Come on, Irene! Get him! <laughs> Irene, uh... Or no, you could save it for Marcus. That's... Guys. My gut says save it for Marcus. <laughs> yeah. I feel uh, like Irene would feel that way, too. Because mm -hmm. we know he's here now. <laughs> yeah. But that's I it. think... I think she, yeah, she's gonna, she's just gonna look at Marcus and, well, I suppose we're a bit of a situation, huh? Uh, and is going to pass the turn. Marcus, there's a moment where Marcus looks at Abe and you can all see the moment where he's like, oh, Fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he he steps up. He's sort of floating almost up and over till he's standing over Abe sort of stunned form. And Marcus just looks at him and he goes, After all of this, I still win. <laughs> <laughs> And he raises one of his clawed hands up, and it sort of almost glints a little bit in his own firelight, and he's gonna bring it down. Come on, Marcus. He has advantage. He does. Come on, quit. That, that's walkie sheet. <laughs> Not useful. 24. Oh, yeah! <laughs> A full twenty narcotic damage, as the narcotic head. damage, <laughs> narcotic damage, <laughs> <laughs> and pierces into Abe's shoulder and then rips down, and you can see where those rips across Abe's body start to fragment and ribbon, and it's almost as if these ribbons sort of start to peel from each other and dissipate into the air. You solved my ghost puzzle. Yes! <laughs> you after solved Nog, my ghost puzzle. After he disappears, <laughs> Noggy will, uh, will slam her quarterstaff to the ground and say, Rest in peace, bitch. <laughs> um, okay, until you end it as a bonus action. So, I think when Aztec gets up, he lets the, you sort of watch him collapse back into himself. And he's immediately going to go over to Waki. Mm hmm. And just very gentle. I think he's just going to do the healing hands. Mm -hmm. Just a very gentle touch on sort of the inside of the wrist. As that warm sort of candlelight glow gathers around his fingers for a moment. And Waki gets back five hit points. Waki kind of starts in that way of like, You've just shook and shook, shaken someone out of sleep, and he. He said. What? It's gone. it's gone. I'm sorry about the way we had to get it out of here. He, he's kind of looking up at you from the floor, and he's just. His head clonks back down the floor, and his forehead presses into the floor, into the wood. And just go outside. Uh, uh, the situation is dealt with. Uh, uh, Julius Nagi, is gonna can you go step with him? forward. Uh, yeah. Oh, Julius Nagi will help. Nagi will lift him up. 
Julius will step <laughs> forward and he'll give him a healing word. It's not much, but he he'll do it for the you'll Lord. Pull him so. back to, you'll probably pull him back to full. He's yeah. Just... <laughs> he'll just like, he's so fatigued. And... He's he's gonna break um... the like um, the formalities and just give him like a slight pat on the shoulder and just like you did great. Now he's gonna say, <laughs> "Okay, guards, the uh, the ghost is dead, and we have your lord. He's okay. Let's get him to his room." Uh, is Mark? Is Marcus still there? <laughs> yeah, Marcus is uh, kind of like as as you all are focusing on Waki, he's just kind of backed up and is like, "Oh, Master what if I just... you and I do need to have a bit of a conversation about what happens now." He kind of freezes as if he's, like, been caught. <laughs> you were sticking so. around because of Abe, correct? You have a living lord to, uh, heal and deal with? And I'm about to have to vacate to make sure that Waki doesn't- uh, that Abe doesn't pull some bullshit with my superiors. So you and I need to have a chat. I don't have to be a part of this, right? I almost just committed treason. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is something that, because I outrank you, I'm taking. I think Waki's looking between you and the fire ghost and Nagi. <laughs> Must be nice. Yeah, it's... Also, Nagi, you get to explain. He, he kind of gives you one of those little sort of closed mouth, um... Bird smile things like the V mouth. So it explained to Waki, right? Is that what you're saying? Or yeah. Okay. I think Waki just kind of. All I need to know right now is that what our friend. Yes. More like he's a guilted, jilted gay lover of Lord Abe Kinjiro, and he was only here to get revenge. Now he's probably going to go on with his. Afterlife. I just needed a yes or no. By the way, did you know that Abe was, you know, had a, a boyfriend? We didn't know that until, like, literally earlier today. I barely recalled the, his place on my family tree. And oh. outside you can hear outside you can hear Toko being like, if you do not open this door right the fuck now, you are fired. <laughs> God, you will shout, open the door, please. It's all, it's all taken care of. Also, and she'll look at Marcus as if to say, get the fuck out of here. Um, Waki's just like, I should deal with that. Yeah, let's get How you over to I the door. Deal with this? Um, I guess by telling the truth, we can back you up with it. The truth is probably the best right now. But, you know, keep it hush, 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 because hush, the whole, what, well, only those who need to know, because, yeah, we don't want to have everyone here. Just don't over. mention that one, and he'll gesture over his shoulder to, uh, where Marcus is. Mm-hmm. They only need to uh, know about the one that messed with you. Waki will, uh, probably still possibly leaning on the two of you, start like make his way over to the door yeah and then just before he steps out let's go of both of your shoulders and okay 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 is that a pk it's a joe oh, it's a joe hi joe walkie steps out into the hallway to hello the voices and shuts the door behind him go pk so, okay to go to rehearsals e. Yep. So what was that? Um, what had Marcus said in response to Asta going, no, we need to... Uh, it, I mostly diverted to Waki being like, is that one friendly? <laughs> is that a good one? Uh, or do I, do we have to do something? <sighs> and Waki has stepped out of the room to deal with the commotion out in the hallway. Um, yep. And Marcus is kind of floating slowly towards the fireplace. 
Yeah. Uh, Asta is going to walk up and possibly try and just... It's going to be... Yeah, quiet conversation. Mm -hmm. The others can listen if they are inclined, but it's going to be... Hushed. Yeah. Mm. And then we'll listen because she's nosy. Yeah, Nazi's also going to (laughs) listen. But, you know... Negative one perception, so. Nagi's mostly just happy that she doesn't have to think oh, shit. Work this time. <laughs> you know what? Julie is a listen for the for the shits of it, because he's a criminal bastard man. God. Um That's So Asta hard. does kind of approach and in a hushed tone, because I can't see you guys' roles, because again, my internet threw an entire goddamn hissy fit. Uh Natural 20 for Nin, 10 for Julius, uh, 26 for... 24, 24, 24, sorry. Jesus! Yeah. The way I see it, your options are... Well, you've got three options that I can see. Since, as best I can tell, you are only sticking around for Barbe, Correct. Perhaps. Okay. So, the way I see it, you've got three options. You can, we can do the whole moving on thing and you can take your chance with my bosses. You can nope the fuck out of here and then hope that things don't eventually catch up to you. Show you cut out for me. I can't hear any. I can't hear anybody now. Uh oh. Oh, I can hear you. Oh, okay. I can hear you. I just can't hear Joe. Joe? The internet. No. Oh, is Joe's uh, thing lighting up without words coming out? or? I don't see Joe looking. lighting up at all. Joe just cut out again. Why is the internet like this? We only heard one of the three options. <laughs> Cliffhanger. Uh, Discord. Why? Why you okay. like this? Hi. Um, so the first option is we can do move on peacefully, and I can vouch for you with my bosses, take your chances with them. Second option, I turn the other way, you fuck off somewhere, and hope that no one catches up to you. Or, the third option is you could stick around as a guardian spirit of sorts. We already thought you were an Oni when we first showed up. So... Now, I make no promises about being able to keep you out of my report. I will do my best. I mean, I prefer one, the second or the third option. And in your head, Astra, you hear it. Um, Astra... Well, yes, Tina. Responded silently, if possible. Yeah, just. What? Okay, we have a situation over here. I think I'll be there in a couple of minutes. I <laughs> understood. And I think he kind of looks at Marcus and whatever you're doing, make your decision quick because my boss is about to show up. He nods and he goes I can't believe I'm actually relying on one of you for this. And he just don't take this the wrong way. I hope I don't see you again. No, I get that a lot. Uh, and he sort of, um, sort of bends himself backwards into the fireplace, and you see him almost sort of start to go upwards, and then from there you lose him. Yep. I don't want to know. Um, whatever he decides is whatever he decides. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Um, Ass is going to turn to whoever's left in the room and... Right, so my boss is going to be showing up very soon. Um, and um, as... And... Continue. And I think he kind of pauses as he realizes and... Probably in right about now, she does have a flair for the dramatic. And as he finishes saying that, sort of... Almost as up on cue, you see right next to him as almost appearing from thin air the thin tip of what looks like an axe blade and it starts to carve through and down the sort of black gray smoke and there's a pause and then it goes comes back in for a second as a petulant <laughs> <laughs> come on then tina you, you already know <sighs> well my apologies captain and then again, the axe sort of cuts through the air and then down. And a familiar figure to both uh, Nagi and Aster steps out from this rift almost in the air. It is this short, perhaps five foot one, five foot two, slightly pudgy woman, sort of tanned skin, a wide face and dark eyes, and this black hair that is like piled up into this bun. And she's dressed in a way none of you would recognize in character, but to all of you outside, business casual. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, of course. You do notice the ass's body language changes from sort of kind of almost a little bit slouched to he's standing at attention i, I almost want to say at ease not quite at attention but not i mean at ease. ease is still a form of e julius has uh, just what i was talking first <laughs> yep, i'm sorry Nagi was, Nagi's just uh a mouth drop mouth like gaping he's like when do i get to learn to do that it's a captain puck. Julius Aww. has just like leaned on his spear to like watch this play out. <laughs> oh. She kind of looks around and well, I suppose I should have expected there to be a crowd. And she's kind of got this like little string of pearls around her neck, but one of the pearls is sort of almost as if it's folded open, as if it's been sort of like blown open like a like a popcorn kernel, but it's instead that sort of five petaled uh, lotus, um, with its petals bent backwards. Well then, I suppose you are all the uh, individuals that have been accompanying Lieutenant uh, Asta for quite a bit of time now. Well, not quite a bit. A short bit? A few weeks, yeah. <laughs> Lovely to meet you all. My name is Captain Avgostina Domokovic. They call me Tina. You're his boss? Yes. Direct boss, yes. Mm. One in a chain of command. Nice to make your acquaintance, Captain. And she sort of looks over, and she kind of blinks for a second, and there's a glance. And then she looks at you, Ash, and she goes, Huh, you weren't just graduating. What was that? She looks at you, and she goes, You weren't exaggerating, were you? I tend yeah, not pretty, to. We're pretty great, aren't we? <laughs> Unique, I would say. Same I difference. Mean, they aren't mutually exclusive. I'm pretty great and unique. You've done yep. well on your first You are a I stunned a ghost. <laughs> you did. I mean, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> so, with regards to the spirit who probably just showed up. Yes, that's uh, the situation. Are they Um. The yes, yes. current Kinjiro, uh, Lord Kinjiro's four times back, great? 200 years ago. Yes, a 200-year-old ghost, and... ghost, Abe Kinjiro, appeared within my office and is now claiming a separate entity um, held him in captivity for almost 200 years.
What about captivity? Some somebody another entity held him in captivity for almost two hundred years. I mean, I cannot just... speak to that. I can attest to the fact that he was attempting to possess and subsume the current lord with, I believe, intention to create mass political unrest that could possibly lead to a war. She blinks. She kind of has the white guy blinking meme. We, <laughs> I'm fairly we certain this is like a he said, she said type thing. Was... Sorry. We came in and we found that the Lord had been possessed by the former Daimyo. And while I cannot be certain to his intentions, it was clear that he was attempting to subsume the Lord Waki. I assume this will be all in your formal report. Yes. Excellent. Well then, I suppose I will have to do the rest of the cleanup. I will be um, confirming his uh, claims about the whereabouts of the soul of one Marcus, Marcus Beatrice. And the axe kind of flicks out and she kind of taps it against the ground. <laughs> now he's just like, huh, weird. We can never run into another ghost. Make a deception check. Yeah. <laughs> she way slaps yeah. his face. Internally, <laughs> I think Asa, um, oh my god, no, I give it oh, no. report. Fuck, what did you say, Joe? Uh, uh he, I think he's trying to distract a little bit with I can give an in person report if that would suit. Um, and then I don't know what Nagi rolled, but I'm a assuming ten. it was bulls, it was a 10. Uh, <laughs> Do I get advantage because Aster said the other th other thing, or? I was gonna put cool. that as at uh, with uh, Tina having a um, uh, disadvantage. However, I'm sorry. Her eyes yeah. are right on you, and she. First Lieutenant Lagisa Masse, Ayase, or Lagisa uh, Yuishi. Yeah. Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Mm hmm. What do you know? Okay, so we heard about the ghost, but we never ran into him. We heard about him from uh, a old bard who used to work for Lord. What was the name of the one before? Yaki, Waki, Abe, Togo? Shiro. Abe, no, Shinji. Of, oh, that, Shinji of, Kinjiro. Of, of, of Lord Shinji Kinjiro, and so like we heard about it we just never really you know got to deal with it and by saying she's technically not telling me they're not lying which says we never got Julie, to deal with it julius the rest will, of it's a lie though julius will yeah. pop in and just say we had assumed that some of the destruction to the property was the active nature of some other yokai Make a deception check, Nagi, but a straight roll. I was gonna give you disadvantage. Okay. Oh man. No! no! <laughs> Fucking hell! Rip. Uh, what did you get? Julius has a plus eight to deception hour. He's so bad. <laughs> Catholic <laughs> is looking on this scene like. Like he's experiencing the worst secondhand embarrassment of his entire life. Oh, yeah, Julius has got a smile. I'll explain but everything to the best of my ability in the report. First Lieutenant Yoishe. Yoshie. Yoshie. That team, Tina would be pronouncing it properly. <laughs> you do understand that your life itself is under our contract and that by. Attempting to lie or misinform your captain, you are committing mutiny. Uh, okay. Um. Captain, it's under my request. I. Look at you, shocked. 
promised the ghost in question that I would do my best to keep his name out of it. Hey! And to be fair to the ghost in question, he was only here because Abe Kinjiro was still stuck on this plane. And... And he did help us to prevent. Yeah. He was... He helped us to realize what Abe was up to. Mm Mm-hmm. And he was, before we even got here, he was working against Abe. And he tried his best not to hurt anyone on top of that. Second Lieutenant. We are going to have to speak about this later. I'm a lot. First, we search the premises. Either the location of Mr. Peterson or whatever he's bound to needs to be within my hands within the next two hours. We have a much bigger problem. On that note, Captain, and Astro is going to give over the um, first and 21st cylinders that he has. She takes them and she goes, that's the other part of our base, so excellent. Thank you. Wait, he was bound to the cylinders? That's neat. Now, again, oh no, I can't hear. No, yeah, no, I'm trying to think of what she says. Sorry, you were lighting up and I got worried. No. I can't. I suppose I will have to temporarily deputize the rest of you. I'm sorry, what? Do we have to? You are what? If you're trying to put responsibility on us, really don't want it, miss. Much appreciated, but, uh... I'm not a cop. That's why I said temporarily. I will not do it even temporarily. I'll go sit in a room somewhere. (laughs) I'm not happy with that either. That's fine, then, I suppose. It will just be me and the lieutenants. Okay, guys, come on. I didn't even get a choice on this. You guys have a choice on this. Just man up and fucking help us. (laughs) Julius will take a step. Not if it's going to make him a cop. Julius will take a step towards Nagi and just say I'll sit in, but I'm not gonna like it. I mean, what does being deputized mean? Temporarily give you the authority necessary to help us with the search. Okay, that sounds fine. Alex rolls his eyes. I think Nagi will insight him. check her because... Is this just kind of somebody who's kind of a little pompous and full of their own bureaucracy? Yeah, I'm curious. This does vibe to Alex. Like, no, no, like, prior anything. This does vibe to Alex as this will do something to your soul. (laughs) It's all you With a 22... It does not seem like... This is a woman who seems both very practiced in this. But she also does not seem, as you might say, like stuck up on her own bureaucracy. In fact, she almost looks a little frazzled. Um, Hey, fine. I will help, but not for you, madam, but for these people that I'm with. Nagi will grin that. It's... Julius gives you a wink. <laughs> and I'm not going to like it, but I'm going to do it. Hey, that's, that's my I motto. <laughs> also, I mean, if worse comes to worst, I can change my face, so. Alright. <sighs> She just kind of smiles at that. Well, then. I suppose we shall, uh... 
start from the ground up, I suppose. And then sort of almost as if you kind of hear a no need to bother. Um, and Marcus sort of reappears out from the uh, chimney. And Tina goes, well, that's convenient. <laughs> I needed to change the automatic music for this page before I go well back to it. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know, um, I like music. Back to Chicago. Um, and he kind of I suppose I ever followed through with any side of the bargain from my own. And if I can keep a certain number of you from even temporarily lining yourselves here. Fine. And he just kind of looks at Tina. He, his hand is sort of clutching the canister. Um, I think if anyone's looking at Astro, you can see him wince a little bit as Marcus shows up. Tina just kind of blinks. And... Oh, I appreciate you making it easy. It will be a good mark on your file. Maybe you should add a mark to his file that he's been helping these people and he's the only reason that Lord Kanjiro wasn't possessed weeks ago. And he I don't think I us. need to point out the damage that that would have caused. <laughs> Sorry, would have caused. And then he also helped two of your lieutenants. If he hadn't been kicking up dirt, we wouldn't have even ended up here in the first place. Sometimes disruption is the best thing for catching attention to a matter that needs to be solved. She looks at My you vouch does stand with him, as I believe he did the best within his ability. She looks at you all, she looks at Aster, she looks up at, at Marcus. That's true, then it is a great boon to his record. However, that is above my head, even. Thank you all for your help. <laughs> Greatly appreciated. What was that? It does the, is the note on his record going to mean anything? Or are you just going to put it there and no one's going to look at it? It depends. It shouldn't. Yeah. Well, it depends on how much it weighs compared to his other actions and certain internal factors, which none of you are privy to. You ever wonder, lady, why people don't like you folks? <laughs> oh, no, we know. Oh, that's good. Oh, I mean, yeah. I suppose you, you Oh, and know, you know, you must be insufferable about it. She just kind of grins. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> I suppose everyone gets judged and weighed the same, right? Of course. So you wouldn't want Insight somebody check. like pounce on a mark against you? Yeah, they say that about yeah. juries and jury stuff, and they yeah, all are I, liars. Oh, and I didn't did mean the charisma save. Can I, I insight check too, or? You can roll an insight check. I would like to insight as well. Oh, that's 
Oh, Shit. God, I rolled so bad. Yeah, feel you. Alex? Hi. You don't know enough about Aster's organization to know whether or not that's true. It <laughs> seems like she believes it. Oh, somehow that's worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just... We might be a shadowy organization, a paramilitary structure, but... Oh, could people not talk at the same time? Sorry. Yeah, sorry, I didn't know that Joe was speaking. Sorry. No? Uh, will I need to go with you, or will a written report suffice? It will depend on the court's needings. Now, we might be a shadowy organization for which uh, there is a preliminary par paramilitary structure. However, we are not assholes. Is is uh is she looking at Nagi right now or is Nagi behind her? What's the deal? Uh she's just kind of looking over the group. Oh, okay, because if she wasn't looking at Nagi, Nagi was gonna give a face, but if she's looking at Nagi, then she won't. It is appreciated what you've done here. And how well you have treated our two lieutenants. Well, we may need to borrow their actions further, down the line. Perfectly fine. Neither of them are assigned right now, and will not be assigned for some time, as this case gets processed. Understood. <laughs> Mr. Pietrison? Uh, and Marcus is like, yes. <laughs> um... And before any the rest of you can say anything, she reaches out to this axe and she breathes in. Her shoulders sort of tighten up and she raises it up over her head with a strength that you didn't imagine this small frame could have. And she brings it down as it flares this bright uh, sort of black against the edge and Marcus dissipates into the air. Dramatic. <laughs> Julia just job. squints at it. She was a charmer, wasn't she? I think she's still here. Yeah, yeah she's I was gonna there. say, she's still um, there. She, she, she just okay, evaporated Ix, Ix saying, Marcus. Is, oh, sorry, I misunderstood. Ix is totally not saying that while she's in the room. She's not got that little time. <laughs> the, the, the cylinder in Marcus's hand hits, bounces the floor, and Tina reaches down and picks it up. She goes, we will have to have a conversation. At you asked her. I'm a one. Have a good afternoon. Um, I believe you've all already signed NDAs, so it's all good. Thank you. And uh, she um, reaches back out behind her and sort of almost picks at the air where the rift had been originally, pulls it aside, steps back in, and it snaps shut again. Nagi's gonna oh. say that's an issue she's gone. She's like, uh, sh the two guards that witnessed the possession didn't need to fill out NDAs, right? Uh, um, possibly. The, I'll give them you, you, to you be on the safe side. You recognize them as the two that were there during the original after possession. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. She, Julius mutters, um, uh, as she leaves, just, this is why I became my own boss. <laughs> Sorry about that. If I'd had the ability, I would have just handled it as a private. Well, you are... Oh, well, our ghost. Your well, organization. No, just... oh, sorry, go ahead. How, how often do you think we're going to meet some ghosts? Uh, this was the first time I've actually encountered ghosts, so probably not very. Oh, thank God we want to see her that much. Gosh, now that I feel like that's been spoken to the universe, the gods are going to throw them more at us just to spite us. I don't know if the gods are spiteful. That might be her. That, 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 that might be blasphemy. Uh, uh, ghost no, are I, think, for it now. I think they like to play jokes. At least a couple of them do. What constitutes a joke? Anything that the oh, gods find humorous. A lot of things. 
Yeah. I don't think I have a very good sense of humor. Uh, they can and cannot. Hey, it depends. Hey, can we continue this conversation over possibly some food and some alcohol? Oh, God. Where are we going to find... Uh, or do what you time? even think we're free to leave? Um, what? what time is it, DM? In game? Uh, it is two in the afternoon. <laughs> uh, Rise of the size of the moon. <laughs> I mean... Because um, I, 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 I think Ash is kind of rubbing at the bridge of his nose. I mean, I just have this overwhelming feeling that we're suddenly in deep we were in, and I'm not sure I like it. What was that? Sorry. Oh no, trust me, the 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 feeling you learn to ignore that feeling. Overwhelming Always what, cope though? with it. What did you say? Overwhelming what? Overwhelming feeling that we're in deep shit. Oh, okay. I just don't like the idea of having eyes on us, but I suppose traveling with you two, it doesn't really get lifted, considering the organization you work for. I do my best to mitigate harm where I can. Is I know. <laughs> is Aster it... still tall and like? Hmm? Is no, Aster still okay? No, his necrotic shot is long. He has okay, he okay. Again. Yeah, it only I, lasts. It faded at the end of the fight. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, he actually dropped it when when oh they got dissipated. Um, but mostly because he didn't want to spook Walkie. Yeah. Julius is gonna kind of wander up next to Aster and just mutter, I'm "Gonna talk about what you are for a minute later, maybe." I mean, we can talk about it here if we want. Not more about the DCO stuff, uh, DPC stuff. No, please. I'm God's but no, no. So let's, go <sighs> let's just get a drink. Prefer something good. What I did. It always makes me. You all poke your head out. <laughs> you all poke your head out, and when you're like, "Hey, Waki, can we get a drink?" He's like, "Yeah." <laughs> Toko's Do you like, want one as well? He's like, "I'll get." My one. lord, would you like one as well? He says, "We'll get one from Yuki." <laughs> Fair um, enough. And and Toko's like, "They can't just fucking leave." And Waki's like, "They get the night off." <laughs> Hell Absolutely. yeah. Fine. <laughs> Next time you save his life from a ghost, you get the night off. <laughs> Choco is like, what the fuck? Tulsa? Um, hmm? Yes, Joe? Uh, I don't think Asta says it, but I think he's kind of thinking. You, you three need to sort out your fucking drama. <laughs> yeah. I think he's kind of looking at Toko and possibly looking at Ayana wherever she is and just like, the three of you need to sort out your fucking drama because this shouldn't help. Mm -hmm. Too much tension. Um, and soon enough, you all find yourselves at an inn with some drinks. Hell yeah. Uh, I think Ask has to by him. I hope because he is still... He's still a little baby. Nagi will order a drink and give it to Aster because she promised him <laughs> I an mean, alcohol. I mean, yeah, Julius would have probably done the same, just like, here, <laughs> have, a, have a pity drink, my guy. <laughs> Nagi, however, will sniff her own drink uh, and try and figure out what it is. Did you just ask for an alcohol? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Again! Oh my oh god. god! It is straight yes. liquor. Hell yeah! Oh no! Yes! Yes! I love Nagi that. Will sniff it and tentatively take the whole shot. Woo! Oh! Look at you go! Good job! <laughs> and she probably hates the taste of it. Yeah, it's straight liquor. Julius will kind of like yeah, wait. I like care. Julius will get up and just uh, give like a slight laugh and just say, "I'll get you something that'll make it taste better." 
and go back to the bar and get like some limes or a lemon or something or maybe some oranges. Yeah. <laughs> something citrusy because that tastes I mean, good. If you're getting them. oranges, any- if you're getting oranges anyway, I think ask to ask for whatever the Angera equivalent screwdriver is. Yeah, I was about to say. What yeah, yeah. That's what you ask for. Aim for the Angera equivalent is. If if the, if you're uh, asking for it, Julius will provide. <laughs> you you all can hey. get screwdrivers, I guess. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, Nagi will love you, darling. Nagi will try the shot of pure alcohol at first, and then ask for something sweeter. I'll get you, <laughs> Shirley Temple. Yeah. Alex is getting drunk. Nagi, do you like cherries? Yeah, it's uh, just like. I like tying the stems with my tongue, Mm-mm. and then she, then but then she's like, yeah, they're pretty okay, I guess. <laughs> All right, <laughs> he's just gonna walk off. <laughs> Go get some drinks for oh. the party. I'm gonna have to head off, guys. It's okay. getting late, and I need sleep. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Good night. Good sleep. I will speak Whoa. to everyone next week. Enjoy yeah. your weekend, folks. You too. Thanks for a good game, Parker. That was actually weirdly not as traumatic as I expected it to be. <laughs> oh, if it wasn't for the stunning strike, Abe would have gone for your possession. God. Yeah, I, I figured as much that one oh. of us was next. Yeah. Fair yeah. game. Right, speak to you later, folks. See ya. See ya. Bye. 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 Monks be like ruining encounters. <laughs> <laughs> Is there conversation that happens? Oh, I think so. Because if, frankly, if Julius wants to talk about what Aster is, he will have to, like. Oh, yeah. Julius just would kind of, like, get the drinks, settle down, and, like, kind of shuck off his uh, cloak and just be like, So, that's an interesting show that you put on. Spooky as shit. Yeah, it's. Didn't used to be. It used to be. Uh, when I was little, me, I pulled light to my hands. It was like, almost like a candle. Um, I, as Joe, can tell you, you can insight check him if you would like. Sure. I'm not the best at it, but Julius would be curious. Ooh, that's a 19 from Julius. Abby's just gonna trust him and then sip her drink and stare at him wide eyed. Apparently, Julius there has interest. There is something Asta is omitting when he, he talks about how when he was little he put light to his hands. I. Yeah. I've known since I was about mm, six. Oh, God, how old were we? Five, six ish. We pulled, like, I pulled light to my hands. It was like, it was small, like, literally just a candle flame. Our dads didn't know how to deal with it. Um. Our? The, he winces, like he didn't realize he had. And he kind of folds in on himself a little bit. Doesn't matter. It's... Pasta's dead and you can't bring it back. When I was... It wasn't always the... Black armor and ominous mist and... That whole shtick. That happened after I signed on. Uh... I think someone thought it was funny. Like I said, um, gods and their cruel jokes. I only saw them once, the wings. They were... And I only saw the edges of them. Bright yellow at the end and bleeding into orange. I didn't really see much of them. I was... I remember wrapping them around myself and... And he kind of pauses, and you see him sort of press his tongue to his teeth. 
I had to have been someone else, right? I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have run if it was. Uh, I would have run if it was just me. It doesn't matter. Alice, they won't always like this. Raises an eyebrow. You really don't know what you're what? talking about there. Uh, when I was. And he kind of makes a gesture to himself. Looking 15 and baby faced and. I. Couldn't tell you much about it. There was some kind of a creature that attacked, and all I remember was. The desire to protect, the desire to put myself between it, and I don't know what I was protecting. Clearly and then hurt. And then hurt, and Tina showed up and offered me a job. How do you not know? Oh, right, you said you were missing some memories, didn't you? Did, Did they what? take them from you? think so. No, you it's... mentioned that things were fuzzy in some places. Yeah, there was a lot going on. I was a child and I was scared. Julius it's... holds up exactly a hand. Hold up well. Julius holds up a hand. Sorry. No, it's, it's alright. I understand the feeling completely. You can't- and I was a child. <sighs> yes. And I- he bites his lip and you watch his hands kind of clench around the glass, but he doesn't say anything more. Mm, that's fair. Julius will kind of just like suck in a breath a little bit, just... <sighs> well, how about a drinking game? <laughs> <laughs> We've got our uh, drinks! Nog <gasps> Noggy will just say, sipping her drink, uh, it's kind of predatory, right? That they keep t um, get pick um, getting kids to do their dirty work. Yeah, kind of. Except for circumstances. You can't really question, um, can you? What was that, Alex? If you grow up in it, you can't really question it, can you? I mean, I've been 15 since it happened. Not mentally, I've still. But I've been. It's why I'm in Tina's squad, because a perpetually 15 year old is a weird case. Yeah, Astra, you would know that they very rarely pick up people under 18. Yeah. Yeah, it's very much exceptional circumstances, and I wasn't I wasn't on active duty until oh God. They made sure I finished high school, gave me the option to university if I wanted to, before actually doing basic. <laughs> it was extremely exceptional circumstances. Uh, I'm gonna roll a thing that Julius mutters. So I'm gonna see if he gets away with it. What was that, that wasn't doctor? Very much. Yeah, Alex has no reason to disbelieve him, but he does anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will tell y'all that Asta seems to be completely sincere. Like, now that we've stepped away from the subject of what happened to him, he's like, nah, it's... And I mean, they had me on desk work for, what, ten years? Third on desk work for like ten years, and then I expressed interest in field, and... Um, Tina put me through a hell of a physical to make sure I was field qualified. Been doing that for a bit, and now here we are. Naki just says, Yeah, I barely got much of a choice, though. I'm just a kid looking for her mom, and then they, I ended up dying, and then they took that as an opportunity to recruit me. But, you know, no hard feelings, yeah, I guess. Hard that's hard <sighs> Okay, your your case is real weird. Like, I know for a fact that they don't tend to do age. They don't tend to do under age of majority. I'm pretty sure your case is only because of special cost. Like Henry doesn't stick his nose in for just anyone. Oh, uh, what's that? Um, not trying to really far from your mic. You sound like you're at the bottom a little well. <laughs> well time. Uh, well time with Nocturne. <laughs> I'm fine. No, no, I want to hear. I need to hear. It's really not important, don't worry about it. 
Mm. Mm. Um. But yeah. I think the last thing I uh, asked to say is Hanoi doesn't get involved in just anyone's cases. Well, like, uh, the recommends I know of, Henry didn't get involved, like, at all. The fact he got involved in yours means there's something else going on. Yeah, well, I'd still much rather just be a kid looking for her mom. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Henry is the bucket boss, the, like, five sergeant. He's the shepherd's champion. He's the big. You're cutting out a bit, Joe. You're cutting out, yeah. Oh. 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 She's a. He's oh, a no. Joe. Oh no. Um. Is this a little better? I think so. Um, yeah, that's better. Yeah. Uh, Henry is the big boss. He's fucking five-star general or whatever. Um, if you want to talk to the shepherd, you talk to him. Uh, you talk to him through Henry. It's a whole... Um, he doesn't tend to take part in recruitments as far as I know. He... I think he's involved in if you're swearing for Captain Ohio, but I don't know. Um, I have no interest in swearing for Captain Ohio. I, I happen to like the idea of getting to rest as an afterlife. Oh, wait, wait a second. Hold on. <laughs> Julius, like, leans forward a little bit. Are you saying that if you have to be a general or higher in the DODCO fucking whatever, don't even, ah. Anyways, you don't get a fucking afterlife. Uh, the terms of the contract are... Well, you heard Tina rebuke and argue to it with your life is... Once you swear above a certain point, you are also expected to spend at least a portion of your afterlife in service to the... Uh, as far as I know, the higher up you go, the more of it you're expected to do. Julius so. looks entirely, like, revolted. <laughs> <laughs> like, Asta kind of looks at your expression and just goes, Huh, that's one of those things that's actually horrifying, isn't it? Yeah, actually. Good gods. I mean, I can imagine... So, yeah. Oh. Like, this is literally more predatory I... than college loans. It, it feels <laughs> like an unpaid I internship, think... actually. <laughs> I think it's to do with, as you go higher in rank, you get more clones to information. And I want to make sure that information doesn't get out. That's that's the whole deal. Ugh. That's the whole deal. Ghosts aren't real. The shepherd doesn't have form. That it's all the flow of information is are very carefully guarded. And I'm not interested in getting more information if it means that I don't get to fucking rest as an afterlife. No, I think you're valid in that thought. Sometimes they say chase your dreams. I wouldn't go chasing after that one. Sounds like a bad gig. I mean, apparently there's perks. I've spoken to some people who have actually, but ain't for me. I'd rather. Yeah, they say that too about MLMs. Um. He kind of tugs at the. A necklace that holds his holy symbol. Um, rolls it over his fingers and... No, there's a chance anyway. There's... Someone I want to try and see. If I can. So... We all have a certain somebody that we're close to that we lose. I can respect that. Aster doesn't respond, he just takes another drink. 
Yeah, I think Julius mimics you on that one. Maybe yeah, for a little bit that. longer than he should. Hey, hey, what was that insight you got on? Asked her before? Uh, 19. I'm gonna text you a vibe check you get. Oh! <laughs> I get Aster vibes. Also, thank you, Parker. Also, Parker, if I'm overstepping any of the information that Aster would have, let me know and I'll redact. But. Redacted Aster Lord. <laughs> um. Uh, no, you're checking out just fine, Joe. And yes, it is Agostina Demokovic. This is why she just goes via Tina, because people have tried to pronounce it and have butchered it. Julius is just gonna refer to her as Captain. <laughs> <sighs> I also I don't know how much trouble I'm gonna be in for it's probably not bad enough to get permanent security, but I am be in some trouble for requesting Moggy to lie to. You kind of broke up again there. Ah. Give me a sec. something about lying to. Oh. How much trouble you'll be in? That's as much as I was able to catch. Ow. Um, he, he was saying, I don't know how much trouble I'm going to be in for okay. telling Nagi to. But. I'm her superior, I check the fault. I mean, you didn't That's... tell me to, I just kind of lied on my own. Yeah, but I'm the one who told Marcus that I would try to keep his name. Can we keep when he was calling you out on it, I gave him up because, as far as I'm concerned, my duty as your superior outranks my duty as. And it means that my job is to make it easier for you as much as possible. Next time, Nagi, maybe don't say anything about things like that. Oh yeah, I'm a really I know bad I know you mean well, but Is there any I... of that? Okay. No, you just yeah, I was I'm a really bad liar. I, <laughs> to sip her drink. I know just <laughs> Leave the lie to me, kid. Sometime. <laughs> what was that? Um uh Sarah? Oh no, it's just saying I'll teach you how to lie better sometime. Yeah. Yeah, yeah in the cool. meantime, leave the lying uh, to me in it. It's a collaborative project between it can be a collaborative project between the three of us because oh yeah just kind of shrug i never had a light on my mom before um, lying's fun when you can get away with it <laughs> you are absolutely true nimmer <laughs> it's the if that that i think is the problem <laughs> well we just have to work on that oh i've had great success <laughs> you just need to sprinkle in the truth when you can. The best lies always have some truth to them. Oh, you're a robot again, Joe. Yeah. Joe, you're a robot. Robot. I'm gonna try to watch. I swear it hates that you my do sentences. It's so rude. It's rude and homophobic. Can yes. you hear me again? Yes. Yes. For yeah, now. my Wi-Fi is now working again. 
Oh, my good. Wi-Fi is now working again. So good. Um. Good old Whiffy. <laughs> good old Whiffy. Yeah. Um. So, anything else while we're having a deep and meaningful? What are we gonna spill more? I think I kind of... <laughs> Hey, y'all! You guys have got mine. You guys have got mine. I have secrets. I mean, I could just say that I lived in Horatari. That's kind of a secret, not really. Quite a long time, in fact. It was only recently that I left. Where are we? Where are we gonna go from here, do you think? Wait around for the Lord and then skedaddle. I think, mean, we are still in contract for the rest of the two weeks. Yeah, we are still True. under contract, and we are still getting paid, so you have to stay. We just shrug. We can. I mean, what does he need us for now? We kind of. Uh, yeah, but his guard still isn't here. Remember, his guard. Oh, were, that's uh, true. Yeah. Like. Yeah, tomorrow, and, and well, like technically it is because of the issue, but mm -hmm. but that we are under contract, contract, and it's might as well twiddle our thumbs for a while. Well, as long as we're getting money for it, yeah. I'm sure Waki will have questions, and once he's been. Calmed that down, I suppose. The man needs a nap. Also, he needs to crack his two advisors' heads together and get them to fucking. As much as I hate to admit trust it. Trust each other. As much as I hate to admit it, as much as Toko has a stick up his ass, <laughs> he's not as bad as he could be. Yeah. I don't trust him, but. But he balances, he helps balance Ayana. Ayana. He helps balance Ayana. As to what I said the right name, I keep mixing up syllables. We gotcha. Um, yeah. If he liked everybody who was under his employ, it would get boring. I know from experience. <laughs> Were you once the lord of a castle? Not a lord. <laughs> And I didn't have a castle yeah, either. Insight check. Insight check. Oh my god. Uh -oh, suspecting each other when there's bullshit? <laughs> then you're gonna Zero. have problems. Oh, oh god. He definitely Maggie. had a castle. <laughs> he, is convinced. he was for sure a prince. <laughs> He's a secret prince and has been this whole time. <laughs> oh god, what would... <laughs> I mean, there's nothing that was a lie or a truth in there, necessarily, but what do you think, Parker? <laughs> I mean... Nin, you're like, ooh, he was a prince. Naki, you get more the vibe that... Julius is not talking out of his ass. When he's talking about this sort of thing, and he's kind of got what seems to be a brain for people and for strategizing and how to build an organization that works. Just taking a sip of her drink. She's like, were you part of a criminal organization? <laughs> he chokes <laughs> on his drink. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you think that? <laughs> I don't know. It's like Good the only God. other way I could think of people commanding each other if you're not like, you know, a major in the, a major in the, a major or general in an army or or like a lord or something is if you're like 
if you're in charge of like a criminal organization. <laughs> I was the local bully. I mean, there's a middle, there's a middle ground between those things. Nagi, yeah, I was the local bully and a thief, not a crime lord. Wow, I can't believe you're a bully. <laughs> Yeah, we all have parts of our past that we. Uh, um. So stick around for a couple of weeks. Stick around to the end of the two weeks. Head up to Horatari. <laughs> sounds like a good time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that sounds good. Pass I need to talk to that Walsh person. Possibly uh, try and convince Waki to stop. Beating Walkie himself stop. up on stuff that's not his fault. Nah, none of us are therapists. <laughs> do you think we have enough time to convince the Lord to go to therapy? <laughs> I um... think he'd want to seek it out on his own. <laughs> I don't think anyone has that much time. I mean, we could broach the subject. I mean, considering what's going on with his father, I feel like the man needs therapy. I think everybody could benefit from therapy. Not that I could really afford it. <clears throat> He's still yeah, coughing up the... Like the song. <laughs> For some reason, that's not in the healthcare plan, folks. Of course not. <sighs> Cops don't give healthcare? Another check on them. Oh no! We get healthcare, we just don't get therapy. That's- that's well, healthcare, baby. <laughs> <laughs> There's some counseling services, but they aren't, like, therapy therapy, so... It's Ugh. weird. Again, I was on desk duty for a decade. Oh god, so rough. Um, and I think unless there's longer conversation to be had, I think I want to call session there. Yeah. Yeah. Fine.